Honorable judges and dear friends, good morning. My name is Varun Kesarwani. I am host for today's talk show, Cognition and Innovation in Companies. Before we move ahead with the briefing of our show, first and foremost, I'd like to welcome to all our guests and judges. Friends, less than two years from now, and we'll be hitting the corporate arena with which touch with each one of us would be working in one company or another. We, on behalf of the student fraternity, would thank and acknowledge the efforts of GEMS to make this talk show happen. I'm here representing Mr. Harish Manwani, the chairperson for HUL. Success is never final. Failure is never fateful. Always been at forefront when it comes to innovation. Whether, in the, whether it is India's first hybrid SUV or it is first India's first biodiesel tractor. Mahindra and Mahindra has recently developed High Alpha. It is first of its kind hydrogen powered uh, three wheeler vehicle. It runs on nothing but on hydrogen uh, fuel. Perfect search engine. And by that we mean that we will offer you what you want and what you exactly want. And uh, for that we feel the data that is being provided to you should be consistent, relevant, and should be speedily delivered. For that, we have uh, innovative, uh, innovated in a lot of things. We have brands ranging from soaps to soaps, from detergents to face wash. I mean, you name the need, we have the right product for you. At Innovations Front, we are always the leaders. We spend approximately $1 billion of our revenues only on R&D fronts. So, I mean, we are completely towards innovation. The world is regarded as a virtue of loners. Like all the major innovations you can think of, they have been taken up by individuals single-handedly, be it by Bill Gates or Steve Jobs. Afternoon, Nokia is a brand leader, world leader in uh, diverse uh, gadgets and on the portfolio of professional mobile phones. We have a picture of Nokia 510, first printed venue, first camera phone, first sudden mobile service was by by local UI language. Nokia has always been a brand leader since the early 19th century in advocating new innovations and technologies. Also like in Finland and Austria where we have long winters. In 2002, that is, that is the second time we have done the rebranding. Of course, this will sound something odd. That within a span of two years, the Airtel has done second rebranding. But this was the time the Airtel wants to show. The third prize goes to Rahul and Ekjot for representing IBM. We are powering And the first prize goes to HUL. <laughs> 